Many years before Stefan Lutze moved to America and settled in West Virginia, he lived in the quiet little village of Lutze in western Hungary, where his grandparents had founded the village over a hundred years before. Stefan followed the family tradition by becoming the mayor of the small village that bore his name. It was the custom for the mayor to live in the estate house that overlooked the village and to give shelter to all travelers that entered Lutze. While the house was large and stately, it stood up on a large hill and was surrounded by dozens of trees, giving it the appearance of a haunted mansion. In fact, at one point, nearly six years had passed and no one had come to visit the mayor and his pretty young wife, Esther. Then, one cold winter night, there came a knock on the door at precisely midnight. The snow was still falling as Esther got out of her cozy, warm bed. I'll answer the door, she told her husband. You go and see if the guest room is in order. As he wasn't used to housekeeping, Stefan knew that he should be the one to answer the door and Esther to attend to the guest room. But he knew that she always delighted when she met new people for the first time. So, without offering a word of protest, he wrapped a heavy robe around his body and headed for the guest room. I'll make him stay until the snow melts, Esther said to herself. She didn't know why, but she just knew that the knocker was a man. She quickly gave her hair an extra pat and then opened the door. From the heavy snow, a tall, dark stranger emerged into the light of the room. No words were exchanged as the two figures stood silently for some time, and then as if the whole thing had been tacitly agreed upon, Esther and the dark stranger departed together into the falling snow. Alarmed that Esther had not yet come upstairs with the guest, Stefan called out for his wife. Getting no reply, he dropped his robe on the floor and hurried down the single flight of stairs. The door stood wide open and white snowflakes fell lazily to the floor. From the lamp he was holding, he could see tiny footsteps leading down the winding path. Stefan followed them, walking for nearly an hour before he realized that he, too, was barefooted. He stopped at once and swung the lantern around to discover that he was standing in the village graveyard. Frightened, he ran more feverishly than ever along the single track of footprints until he entered one of the tombs. Even before Stefan opened the wooden casket inside the tomb, he knew that it belonged to his family. The casket lettering read, Tistal Lutza, born 1782 died 1852, settled and founded the village of Lutze in 1799. It was empty, except for the shredded black rags that had once served as clothing for his grandfather. What happened that night, Stefan could never say for sure. He gave up looking for his wife, and when he finally got back to the house, he was so tired that he decided to get some sleep and continue the search in the morning. As he lay down on the bed, he was aware of somebody breathing beside him. Grabbing the lantern, he held it close to the breathing figure. It was his wife, Esther. What is it, Stefan? She said, sitting up. Then, noticing his red feet, she said, Where have you been? Had Stefan only been dreaming and imagined all this? But how did the tomb door get opened? And how did the single footprints get in the snow? And how did the tiny red marks get on Esther's neck? Had Stefan's dead grandfather returned as a vampire? The figure Esther described, the one she had seen in her dreams, was that of Pistau Lutza, a man she had never seen, as he'd been dead for over a hundred years.